You look like you're getting ready to go hunting. Well, I'm, I'm trying to, but I can't find all my stores. <laughs> I thought you had it all stacked in one spot. I do, but I wasn't crazy about that outfit. I wanted a different outfit. You want to look good today, huh? I do. There's a particular outfit. Yeah, us men are just different, aren't we? We just slap something on and get ready to go. <laughs> Bless me. Just, just get, just get the lucky outfit now. Okay. I think she's about ready, y'all. A good thirty minutes. <laughs> so let's go. Maybe he waited on this. <laughs> I'm sure he did. <laughs> he better have, hadn't he? He is. Having to kick at least four bottles out of the way before I need to get in the truck. Tell us, Stella. It's all your fault, Stella. Tell us, Stella. This is our truck, ain't it? Nasty. <laughs> Stop. This is our farm hunting truck, so it's, it, it ain't got to be clean from me, Stella. Now, saying it's a little different. <laughs> uh, most people <laughs> would want it to be a little cleaner. Not just me. Don't don't make me the oddball out here. <laughs> Are we ready to go? Yep. <laughs> 27 degrees left pickups. So it's cold. <laughs> so maybe we can tough it out. I guess it's not that cold. <laughs> December. Like I always say, from 27th to the probably 5th of January. Let me show you a couple of deer I've killed on this video on this power line over the last couple of years. There's some. So. Here, look here. Got a good Mississippi buck here. Another Mississippi buck. Hopefully today's gonna be a day for Sandy. All right, so you see what's been in here before. Like I said, I've killed a lot of deer on this thing, so maybe this morning, this morning. Let's go. Waiting on you. Right there would be pretty good. 
sumac is pretty soft. I'll be able to cut it pretty easy with my knife. Alright y'all, that was pretty simple. Got me a stick cut for it. So let's go see if we can get us stand right quick. See if we make it happen. See one little girl. They're running, so I'll have a buck or something mess with them. On camera, come on. Two little toes. What now? Two toes. Okay, I can't see them where they're at now. Left side, right side. They don't want in the trees. Okay. But be paying attention. They're running. But, uh, maybe too far to shoot. There comes the other one. What is it? I don't see any horns. I think he's got horns. He's, oh yeah, he's got very little though. Okay, I see him now. He can't be very big. I mean, I'm just. Yeah, he chased him. Could have been a big doe. Well, I mean, he could have been over a four point if he had any play. So dark over there. You see him? I do. I ain't ready how big he is. I do not see him. He, he was right on the left side. He came out with a toe and he turned back. He said, Okay, I see him right now. I can't move out. Still, he went out. I don't see him. Let me find him. Uh, yeah, there he is. You see him? No. Left, left, right on the left side. He's finna walk in the woods. I can't see him. He's on the left. He go watch him. Walked in the woods. He was down below this other dog. He's right there. He's just. Yeah, he's gone now, but he was standing right there. And he's a shooter too now. He ain't no big bug, but he was big enough to shoot. He's, see where the sun's hit that clump of trees, you know, the light pole to the left, back this way. He just come out and walk right there again. Okay, okay. Come on, camera, focus, focus, camera with me. You see him? No. Yeah, I don't need my camera on, focus. I, I got him. I ain't got him. All right, where's he at? Stand his tail. Alright, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. I went on him. I yeah, I know he was running. Dad coming. I'm sorry, I couldn't get this freaking camera focused. He's standing still there for a while, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Boat you, boat you around. Played a video back. I don't know if she had that deer or not, but she had pretty dang close. She didn't. Man, that's the only thing. We had him come out with a doe. And she couldn't get on him, and I couldn't get I got him on camera just a little bit. Them dogs got coming in here. And I don't know if he spooked him across. He come out in the middle of the fire line and stopped, and I couldn't ever get the camera focused on him. And when he took off, you see, she shot. I'm gonna get down and go look. There's a sunspot right where he went in. Look like you may hit him in the back end there. Oh. We're gonna get down and go look right quick. <laughs> Be something he's there. <laughs> Be a miracle. <laughs> So she did eat him. Oh, so I'm gonna go back and get Stella. She's in the truck. I'll be right back. Hey, don't go don't hit the track and mess it up for her.
Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 than what you heard in that cut of log. He could have went right back here. You took that. There you go. Yeah, she's going that way. Hmm. I'm going to give out. <laughs> I saw you take off running. I'm thinking, oh, Lordy. I had to run him down and cut his coat. That's what I... I when I walked in the woods, I seen there's plenty of blood. So I, knew, I knew he wasn't far. Still, there, still. Daddy. Yes. What you say about? Well, he's one lucky son of a gun because I really wasn't sure if I hit him or not. He's one what? Lucky son of a gun. Unlucky. Unlucky <laughs> son of a gun. Okay. Unlucky. <laughs> Unlucky son of a gun. Any other time you get past Miss Sandy. <laughs> I always say. A lot of times that they just be, what'd you say? They just be still. As long, <laughs> long as they stand still, you miss them. But get running, you get them, huh? <laughs> Jimmy had to help me out a little bit. He Stella did. Stella had him caught. I Stella knew. had him caught, yeah. Um, I knew when... I, well, when we were up in the stands, we weren't sure if I hit her or not. Jimmy kept playing it back on his camera to see, and he's like, y you might have hit him, Tandy. I I'm not sure. We're going to get down, and we'll go look. We went down, we got down, and there wasn't no blood. There was no hair where we thought we shot him. Anyway, we walked on in the woods, and <laughs> that was the prettiest little pile of blood you ever saw. So he went back and got Stella um, and brought her in here and got her on the trail. And they ran off and left me. I tried to keep up with them, but while we were still in the stand, I thought I'd heard something back in the thing. And, and it was him. He had gone over into that pine thicket, thicket. And when Stella got in here and she jumped him back up, there's a, what is that, a logging road, Diddy? A fire lane. Fire lane right there. She was running up it. And um, they chased her down through here and he shot her again and killed her him finished him him <laughs> him sorry i'm not good with pronouns finished him but thanks to good old stella there <laughs> got some excitement didn't we girl we had some excitement he's a nice little eight point he's been rubbing on some trees all kinds of stuff on there all right so he's we got mom on the board Mama's finally on the board. My first deer for 2022. Finally. I'm just excited that he has horns on both sides of his head. Last year was not a good year for me. How many did I kill that had only one set of horns? I know two, maybe three. <laughs> it was very, very depressing. <laughs> We've got calling her Cole Buck Sandy. <laughs> she didn't like that. I did not. I did not. All right, Daddy. Time for you to drag him out. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna gut him and skin him and everything. I I never have. <laughs> Why should I start now? I mean, we've been together almost be 32 years next March, and um, we haven't always hunted together. Being married to a hunter is not easy. Um, a lot of you. I read a lot of Jeremy's comments on his YouTube videos and people ask, um, you know, how does your wife put up with it? How do y'all manage? How do you do stuff? And and to be honest, I, I did a lot of the parenting when early on because he was, he was out hunting and I stayed home with the kids. I, I didn't hunt for the longest. And then as the kids got older and he started taking them, um, I realized I was getting left out. And I, <laughs> if I wanted to be in on all this stuff, I better join in. And so I did. And and uh, he has taught me a lot about hunting and been very patient with me and he always makes sure i have everything i need and and he always did that way with the girls too if he if he took you hunting he he put you first he made sure you had everything you needed to be successful um but it wouldn't it's not always easy and and just like anything in life you know, marriage is just like hunting. There's good days and there's bad days. And sometimes you get the book and sometimes you don't. But 
I think the main thing is you just, you both got to understand what the other one's trying to do. And, and I knew Jeremy needed to hunt because he worked for us and these girls seven days a week, daylight to dark. So when he wanted to go hunting, I knew that's what he needed. And I, and I was patient with him. I also had to throw me a little hissy fit every once in a while and go, wait a minute, you got to stay home. I, I, I need some me time too. And he did. Um, so it's a give and take. That's the only way anything works. That's the only way anything works. You got to understand both sides of the situation and be there for each other. But now our kids have grown, and, and so there's there's a lot more us time, which is really, really amazing, and we're both in really good health and can do some things. And uh, we get to travel, and that's what he, he likes to brag. He, he will. He helps me out in the summertime. When I'm off work, he takes me to... I've been to all 50 states, and uh, I ain't, can't everybody say they've done that, but uh, we did. And now it's hunting season. He was gone for three weeks straight. I'm going to tell you, it wasn't easy, but it wasn't that hard. It wasn't like I was having to raise three kids or anything at the time. I just missed him. You just got to work at it, folks. That's the main thing. Be willing to compromise and be willing to work. Just like this morning. We had to work at this one just a little bit. <laughs> he didn't come easy, but we got him. Hey, you watching my video this morning? I appreciate it. Um... If you liked it, leave us a comment. Hit a thumbs up on our YouTube video. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Uh, we appreciate that very much. But do it yourself, Hunter. We got it on YouTube. We're on Facebook. Um, give us a like. Give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it.